Hello everybody, um, I'm just going to give it a few seconds for the adverts or whatever to sort of finish up and for people to filter in, but thank you so much for joining us tonight uh, for this Dragon December themed live stream. Um, thank you for following along with Dragon December and thank you for being here in general. If you're new, my name is Josh. Oh, we've got an advert plan. Sorry. That's all right. Ooh, that's yeah, that's right. Um, thank you for being here. Um, yeah, I'm Josh. Uh, this is the Arcane Forge. Um, and I draw monsters and talk about lore and mythology and stuff uh, related to D&D. Um, my lovely wife, Yvonne, is just sitting across from me. Um, and she will be reading out your comments and questions and suggestions as we go, because I'm going to need your help today creating a series of items, a uh, minimum of one, uh, depending on how much time this all takes, um, but there could potentially be three. Um, as you can see on the screen here, I've got um, potentially a weapon or magic focus, uh, spellcasting focus, um, a piece of armor or a shield, and some kind of tool or trinket. Um, that might help us survive or track down and hunt a dragon, uh, as this is Dragon December, a month themed around that. Adding foley art, uh, adding, adding some sound effects in the background is uh, the ferocious dragon Myrtle, who is roaring, uh, i.e. snoring, in the background here, so hopefully hopefully her, her, her sound effects aren't too, uh, too loud, but she has turned into... Um, you know, sentient mashed potatoes, so she's not really um, much for stopping uh, now that she's started. Um, the thought process behind this is going to be um, that the conventional adventuring equipment that we're given um, in D&D doesn't seem like it's built very well for defeating dragons. It might be, um, you know, we have magic swords and all this kind of stuff that might help, but a sword is a person-slaying instrument. Um, you know, shields are good for defense and so on. Um, armor might help us, but, you know, um, I'm thinking more along the lines of what uh, maybe even mundane items might we need in order to deal with a dragon encounter, something that can fly. So maybe we need more harpoon or... Um, you know, crossbow-like weaponry. Maybe we need something with, you know, uh, you know, fist weapons that have claws attached so that we can hook onto their scales and climb onto their backs um, as we deal with them. Uh, maybe we need uh, armor that's so uh, slick or magically produces water so that we might be able to uh, deal with fire breath. Um, I'm open to your suggestions, basically. I want to know what you think we should be making. Um, as I said, we're going to be making a minimum of one thing, um, maximum of three tonight, depending on how long we have, and I'm going to be doing this for a couple of hours. Um, but I am intrigued to hear uh, what you guys have to say. And also, I think Yvonne um, had the suggestion that if you guys can fit um, some Christmas-themed puns into this, uh, we should in some capacity have like a, I know, contest. Uh, you know, bonus points for for Christmas themed puns because it's like our first, yeah, it's our, is yeah, our office Christmas party, basically. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the end of the year. We have another live stream for Dragon December, but it doesn't happen until after Christmas. So, uh, yeah, I want to, I want to hear your um, your your puns as well for this. So, um, do we have any suggestions so far for? Uh, right, firstly, I just want to say that you your um, trees that you've created. For, or what do you call it? For your... the, the display thing? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's perfectly complemented by the fact that the wall behind you and your shirt are the exact same colours. So <laughs> a good look. Oh yeah, I hadn't even thought of that actually, yeah. Um, okay. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Minring says uh, maybe a dragon spear like St. George. Uh, oh yeah, a very good call, very good idea. Also, I don't know the story of St. Michael oh. and the dragon, but we've got the statue of St. Michael near us that yeah. features a dragon. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if anyone knows that story or not. Mm -hmm. uh, York says, how about a specialised battering ram uh, with a sharp point that the players have to work together in order to impale the dragon. Oh, for their tough scales and things. Oh, yeah. Uh, Steve says, the pudding of dragon slaughtering. Amazing. Which is open Amazing. to interpretation, I guess. So that's quite a fun one. Yeah. Uh, I think some sort of boat. Bore a crossbow, mm -hmm. uh, something to ground them is probably essential. Yeah, 
bolas. Oh yeah, uh, bolas? the yeah bolas. The bolas. Um... and they are a yeah. glue gun. Ah. Glue guns. Oh, I'll stick glue gun down there for sure. Uh, Christmas sweaters. Of course, it's giant. It's it grants resistance to ice bread. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay, that's all we've got so far. Don't forget to do your shout out to your patrons. Uh, I, I usually do that only on the final. Um, oh, is that the final? Yeah, one? yeah, it's usually on the one after Christmas. So that's. Um... <laughs> Ground the dragon with sticky pudding. <laughs> Nancy is... dragon sleigh. Oh. Does that work? Oh, very good idea. Um, is that S L E I G H? Yes. Um, yes. Very good call. Something to keep them out of the sky. Yeah. So actually, yeah, someone suggested like a crossbow or a bow. Um, yep, crossbow or a bow. Wonderful. Have uh, you got bowlers? Oh, yeah, bowlers, yeah. Net um, or glue gun. Um, yeah, I've got a glue gun on there because I think that's, that's very fun. A net might be a little bit not that interesting to draw. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Reed says uh, the glue gun could probably have alchemical adhesives tailored to a specific type of dragons Ooh, or elemental types. I'm liking that a lot. That's very cool. Yeah. Um, alchemy uh, versus dragon type. There we go. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. I'm, I'm actually fairly convinced that we should do something like a glue gun as the weapon component thing here. Uh, how about a super uh, konobo? Do you know oh yeah, that's a, a, a Japanese club. Ah, that can cause uh, micro cracks in the bones, making them easier to break. Oof. Con save against extra necro damage that permanently reduces hit points. That seems like a really awesome weapon, but I'm not sure it's like particularly like dragon specific. Okay, um, F twenty two fighter jet. I mean, I'm sure that would definitely definitely work. Really? Um, you weren't the kind of kid that drew lots of planes and vehicles. Oh no, no, I just I don't really know how any of them work. To mm. be perfectly honest, like I get it, but. No, oh, it was, it, machines never really interested me that much to draw, mm. which is why I quite, kind of always go back to like steampunk stuff in my D and D. Uh, Catman says I feel like some sort of magic fire extinguisher would be vital in fighting dragons, especially since dragons are supposed to metaphorically represent natural disasters. Ooh, That's maybe cool. we could tie that into the glue gun type thing, so it has like a an ability, like is it an alchemist's. Like chemical launcher that has a glue gun feature and like a fire extinguisher feature, mm. stuff like that might yeah. be quite interesting. Oh, shout out to Reed who says, uh, Nice to see you guys. I caught COVID recently. Oh. Sorry to hear that. I hope you're on the mend. Um, yeah, sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, Steve says, How about a bauble? It's a chance of enchanting the dragon with a hypnotic. Uh, hypnotic pattern effect like cats oh. as tree bottles. Oh, that's very cute. Uh, okay. Maybe a longbow out of dragon rib bones. Ooh. Uh, oh, Ollie and the kids are here. Nice, nice to uh, see you guys. Uh, I think this since bladed weapons are going to be useless against dragon type. Mm. Oh, the Knobo. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, of course. Yeah. Sorry, that I wasn't really thinking there, was I? What? Um, how about a kind of poison that causes their breath weapon to go into uncontrollable overdrive? That oh, my goodness. super destructive. Yeah, that sounds super deadly. Would it hurt them as well if they take the poison? Yeah, like an elaborate poison bottle could be quite fun as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, okay, elaborate. Alchemist anti dragon emergency tool. Love it. Uh, um, Leo's suggesting one eye like a warlock thing. One eye like a warlock thing. Yeah. Maybe if, um, that sounds if, cool. If you can tie it into dragons, Leo, Leo we can. Yeah, definitely. Out. Maybe we could, like, maybe that could be related to the poison bottle or the little bauble if it's like an eye. Mm -hmm. um, so let's say dragon. You like putting eye designs I do love putting in, uh, eyes in everything. Yeah, uh, warlock eye? Question mark? Uh, yeah. 
That okay. sounds cool. Just to let you know that um, where you've written Kenobo, that she's sort of under the dragon. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Well, you know what? I I will um, I will hold these suggestions over here, make them a little bit smaller, and I think I'll get started drawing one of these um, while we take more suggestions and ideas. What do you think? Yeah. Um, mm. Do you want me to make some notes about what people say? That yes, good. that's a good call. Um, you can shout things out to me as well, because I will um, I can always add things to my notes. Right. But only downside... Have you got a pen there? Um, yes, I do. I can grab one from over here. Uh, oh, Reed says, I like how Ventry Town's demonic wishing eye. Ooh. Um, I don't know anything about that, but that sounds fun. Uh, Cameron says, I've always had a bit of interest in uh, genre crashing mixing mm -hmm. that ends up with stuff like Jets versus Dragons. <laughs> Amazing. It doesn't come up that often, and half the time when it does, there are other problems. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it sound, um, sounds like... I mean, making an aeroplane does seem like the kind of thing that someone would create to combat dragons if the dragons didn't just burn them to death. Um, Reese says, maybe a helm that grants advantage on perception and survival checks against dragons mm. or dragon like Features. That sounds very cool. I like the sound of that. Uh, how about a device made to crack dragon's eggs? That's Ooh. cool. That could be quite elaborate and Yeah. Um, right. So, yeah, you take notes of those and I'll, I'll write them in in a second. Um, do you think that this kind of glue gun, fire extinguisher, alchemy kind of themed ranged weapon, should that be like pistol sized or do you think it should be like a double handed weapon like a big thing maybe we want something that's going to be smaller so that we can kind of hold it in our hand possibly and then have like our other hand free to like climb or do something else maybe we want to be a little bit flexible and versatile Cameron says that makes me wonder: Are dragon patron warlocks a thing? Seems like the like a grand, great grand worm might yes. be a patron. They definitely seem like it. So I I tend to allow that in my games, like usually using um, the pact to the fiend or whatever it was, patron, the, the fiend patron. Um, but uh, you know, changing the elemental damage type based on whatever dragon it is you're associated with, but that. Even in fizz bands, I was quite disappointed to see in fizz bands that there was not a um, dragon-themed warlock subclass. I feel like that was a missed opportunity for sure. Um, Ronan says, "I'd like to see a crossbow as a weapon. Ranged weapons are rather underrated, and it just makes sense to use a crossbow for a flying enemy." Mm -hmm, absolutely. Uh, all he says, "Magical grappling hooks to tie the dragon to the ground." Oh cool. yeah, that's very cool. And Definitely. we've had our first Christmas pun. Oh my so goodness! He says, uh, "Dragon eggnog." Oh, it's dragon nice eggnog. Give me bad heartburn. Oh, <laughs> bravo, bravo. Uh, Oh, uh, some votes for double-handed. Double-handed, okay. Right, in which case, let's um, start. Short gun size, like a blunderbuss. Should mm. be two hands, but can be used one hand for style. Okay. You get harpoon gun size, says Reed. Uh, Captain Dutchman says, if I would hunt dragons, I would probably want a good shield or and spear or some sort of harpoon to pin it down. Mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah, so like a grappling hook slash harpoon sort of thing. Mm. Grappling hook. Grappling hook meets harpoon meets glue gun meets a bunch of things. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough, tough thing. Um, right now, I'm thinking like uh, almost like a mini gun. Uh, let's let me just get a mini gun. A glue gun like a flamethrower with tanks of glue. That's cool. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, harpoon gun seems sensible. Mm. Maybe armor to make it so you can't be swallowed by a dragon. Oh, that's a good idea. Would it kind of like flay outwards or something? So when you're being swallowed by it, it would it be... really spiky. Yeah, definitely. Porcupine. Well, you could turn up, roll up into a ball uh -huh. to avoid being burnt. Uh, oh, that's cool. Then be too spiny to pick up. Yeah. And let's see. So we can have some different chemicals here. You can make the gun meaty, made from dragon breath, weapon organs. Oh. Uh, I mean, you must know that Josh loves making weird, fleshy. Yeah, I do like making horrible stuff. meat monstrosities. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, so let's have something like a trigger. Hulk, okay. uh, Hulk Fisher type suit. Hulk Buster, maybe? Buster. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm not going to be doing like a whole suit of armor because I made that mistake in a live stream recently. That's just like two hours is not enough time for me to make a suit of armor. Um, but I will do like elements of armor as no, you know. Oh, that anything. thing that Iron Man uses trapped the Hulk. Yes, Sorry, yeah. yeah, that was very cool. That was a very good idea. A uh, shield that gives you resistance against the type of dragon you're fighting. Yeah, definitely. Very good call. Uh, you could maybe use three dragon slain as ammo, so short. Ah. Or buster, yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, maybe the onion armor in Dark Souls. Ooh. I love the way that looks. Why would it be useful for dragons in particular? Was um, was that something uh, connected to the Onion Knight? Was he um, was he a dragon fighter in particular? I like this. Uh, special foam bombs that have different effects depending on the element of the dragon. Ooh, I like that too. That sounds real fun. Uh, the tale of Captain Ahab from Moby Dick would be ace inspiration for some mad old man who has come up with these mad devices. Mm -hmm. It even opens up to a whole quest, really. I like Yeah, that, that sounds yeah. really cool. Maybe we find these items on a former <laughs> Captain Ahab-like character. You never know. <laughs> uh, these items are going to be super useful. I have been design designing a kind of orcish merc group mm -hmm. that act as um, dragon slayers slash giant feathers and stuff like that. This is right up there. Alice is amazing, kinda... amazing. I'm so glad. Right, so we're gonna need. Wait, do you say merc for mercenary or do you just say merc mercenary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Cool. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Were you worried that that was just a Scotland I thing? I was like, where should I say merc? Like, uh, mercenary yeah. or yeah, merc? I get you. Yeah. Is yeah. Merc is that? Yeah. I feel like, yeah. Mm. Uh, it makes the dragon teary eyed when eating you. Which one is what's that following up from? Sorry, that must be second part. Mm -hmm. Oh, shield against it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I just think the onion armor would be hard to swallow, says Moon Ring. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, sorry, we were talking oh, about that. Hi, Cat. Hello. Uh, ha hello, I had no ideas. I just wanted to say I love the new overlay. Oh, thank it's you very much. It's really awesome, isn't it? I, love I had that a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I had absolutely tons of fun with it. Oh, and Bran's joining us. Hello, gamers. Right. Hello, Bran. Hello, Bran. Nice to see you. Good grief. Matt was just totally going for it. Um, and Aldrin's not here to appreciate it. I know. I know. <laughs> She's really laying on the foliar. Okay, so this, this is a good point. Once you get the dragon on the ground, how would you fight it? Its head is the most dangerous part, so mm. maneuvering around it and going for the flanks with long, sharp spears or lances would be ideal. Oh, yeah. So anyone's got any dragon fighting strategies? Excellent call. That would be cool. Right, so I need to get a harpoon-like weapon attached to this. Listen to me, young ones, as I tell you the tale of Moby Drake. A Moby Drake! Oh, my goodness. Go. Yes. Bravo. Um, okay. So since it's the Christmas episode, mm -hmm. the office party. Yes. Um, if you guys want to share what the best uh, D and D themed Christmas present you've Ooh, ever got was, good. Call. Not that I'm looking for ideas or anything. But <laughs> still shopping days there. <laughs> Oh, okay, so it's de definitely pronounced Merc here. Yeah. But short for Mercenary. Okay. Also, sign for getting killed, getting Merc. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. It's getting burked, I think, like outside of Scotland. Just out of curiosity. That's a good question. So, to like burk someone is to put your hand over their mouth and um, squeeze their nose shut with your mm. thumb. Oofed. I'm just curious if that has travelled or if that's just like. A purely Scottish thing. I think I've heard it before, but then I don't know if that was from like the Birkin Hair movie. Mm. You must have known that from being a tour guide. You must have oh, yeah, no. yeah, Birkin Hair sure. when you did that. Was there something else? That, oh, fire extinguisher. That was the other thing. Oh, you know what? If it launches chemicals, one of those could be like a fire extinguisher chemical, couldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Ja, 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 ja. Right, okay. Oh, um, I don't get the reference, but. It sounds hilarious. Uh, mm. Bram says, as we know from Skyrim, the best way to hunt a dragon is by screaming at it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Is that so, uh, yeah. So in, in um, Skyrim, you are um, like 
a different kind of dragon born like you have the soul of a dragon in you um so you can learn their language and it turns out that dragons breathing fire is actually them shouting their language which is inherently Um. magical so you learn their shouts which gives you different magical powers um but famously fusroda is like the force push ability Fus is uh, they're all they actually someone went through and actually made like a series of sounds so fus uh, hro and da are all dragon oh. language words uh, which end up to be like a huge uh, thunderous pushing voice effect basically yeah. it was very fun our readers have not heard of being burked but it sounds violent to my American sensibilities <laughs> yes definitely <laughs> Definitely. Right, let's make this. You know what? I could make this more draconic, couldn't I? I could. Yeah, let's. Uh, I want to make this more like a dragon. That's a head, I think. Oh, that's cool. Uh, can't believe I'm making a dragon slaying weapon, and I didn't think like, oh yeah, the end of a cannon could be a big dragon mouth. Because <laughs> I did like a tiny little dragon here as the harpoon, but I was like. You know what? We need this needs additional teeth. Uh, Ronan's asking. Um, I was wondering if you do YouTube full time or is it just a hobby? So I'm trying to do YouTube full time. Um, I do spend most of my time doing it, but I do have a job outside of this. Um, one day, uh, when I earn enough from it, then I will make sure that this is the thing that I do full time. But um, thanks to you guys, I do spend a lot of time doing it, which is nice. One of the players here, I loved it, had it framed, and even though it was really just a doodle, as far as they were concerned. Oh, was. you were asking about Christmas presents, maybe it was ah, like right. a, yes. an illustration yeah. of some yeah. kind? Yeah. Ah, that's really cool. Yeah, custom drawing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Reed's saying, what's propelling the goop? Chemical propulsion or big old pillows or magic? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm assuming, like, in the chamber at the bottom here, there's, like, maybe scrolls of like thunderous wave or something like that that's like shooting these uh these chemicals out but maybe there could be something else what do you think what what could be propelling it uh you are would like to know what your favorite movie dragon is my favorite movie dragon i mean it's got to be smaug uh because we've got that's that's um benedict thundercats uh doing the voice for uh for smaug so what's not to love What's the one with Sean Connery? Yeah. Oh god, that was so good. Dragon I remember Heart right. Or that, that's one of the only times that I've been incensed by guests. Right when I was a kid, uh-huh. we had some family friends over. And we were watching Dragonheart, which I watched on repeat pretty much. Mm-hmm. Right, and we had these friends over. Uh, these fam- family friends, not my friends. Right, mm-hmm. uh, we had some family <laughs> friends over, and uh, they let me know that they were bored during Dragonheart, and it was like it's Sean Connery and it's dragon. What mm. is not to love here? If you're bored, it's because you're a boring person. Like mm. this is this is cool. We watched it as a class at school, mm. and the teacher had to leave the lights off at the end until people stopped crying. Oh, <laughs> it is it's super sad. It's way too sad for kids. Because that was not. I think I was still like plugged as like a kids film, but that that burned. Um. Uh, how about a plunger like in a spray gun perhaps it has a reloading quality like a crossbow mm. uh, Reed says I thought you said they were squirrels not scrolls in the chamber <laughs> I just pictured them in a wheel spinning around like a hamster uh, well now they are <laughs> little magical squirrels um, and Ring says thanks for doing the pink dragon video oh thank you very much yeah thank you for enjoying the pink dragon video <laughs> Bill says would Myrtle be a brown dragon <laughs> the lazy ones mm-hmm. yes definitely Myrtle will be whatever the minimal effort is um, I do love her very deeply though I'm trying to find uh, maybe it has a manual cramp built pressure ooh What's well, Dragonheart? Yeah, it's like a. Well, I don't remember too much about it, but it's a film about a dragon. It's right, Connery is right. A dragon. Just straight away, going like and this is me say, saying this like without knowing whether I actually holds up or not. But so it was it was a dragon fi- uh, film 
with Sean Connery as a dragon, and the whole idea is that a prince is born, um, and he's born with like some birth defect with his heart. So it's like it's not really clear what's going on, but he's gonna die basically. And then the the king and queen find a dragon and ask for the dragon's help. And I can't remember exactly why Sean Connery the dragon agrees, but he does. He gives a piece of his heart to the prince. And that keeps the prince alive, but it ties the prince and the dragon together forever. So any harm that befalls the dragon also befalls the prince. Maybe that's the whole point, that it's like the dragon can't be slain now because it would also kill the prince. Um, Cut to a few years later, the prince turns out to be a real bumhole and is like a really nasty guy. Um, And... um, the dragon ends up making friends with like a a knight, is it, or like a just an adventurer of some kind? I get the impression that Pete Postlethwaite's in this as well, actually. Hmm. Does that seem familiar to you? Um, it looks like Jason Isaacs, uh, David Thewlis, Thewlis, even. All right. In it. Yeah. Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid's in it. My goodness. Uh, but I don't. Who did you say? Um. Uh, Pete Postlethwaite, is he in it? I'm just checking out these graphics because I was like, that must have aged In my head, yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah. Not that bad for it was 19, mostly practical effects. That came out, so. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, Pete Postlethwaite apparently played someone called Gilbert. That yeah, he's like a bard or something in it, I think. Mm-hmm. I seem to remember. Either way, oh, it's cute. Know. I liked it. I, I liked the film. And the dragon is called Draco. <laughs> of course. Of course it is. Uh, Catherine says, I like Pink Dragon, especially the axolotl features. Thank you very much. Uh, the long fin made me think of an oarfish. Oh. Um, if I ever run one in game, though, mm-hmm. I am giving it the bubble breath again. My players would expect no less. <laughs> of course. You do whatever makes you happy as DM. Dragons... All the monsters do exactly what you need them to as the DM. That's your creative license. Um, York's asking, uh, what would you have done if you'd designed a grey dragon? Um, so, grey dragon. Because I know you commissioned one recently, didn't you? So, what is that? White and black dragon hybrid. So, I always get confused. Are black dragons the ones with acid or the ones with poison breath? I think they're acid breath. And they hate humans, and white dragons have perfect memories. So, something with like, my goodness, Myrtle, you're really going for it. Um, so, like, oh, she's kind of like choking herself. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's fallen out of the bed, but she's still so sleepy. We didn't even take her for that massive of a walk today. Just she's not very well. Oh yeah, she's got a little ear infection right now. Because she's a Frenchie and has allergies. But, um, yeah. I don't know. So, so acid and and frost. Um, I don't really know what the uh, combination of those two would, would be. What that would produce. Yeah, definitely. But someone who... A creature that hates humans specifically and uh, also... Uh, has a perfect memory of them. Probably quite a savage and brutal creature because, um, if I recall, uh, what is it? Black dragons are not quite as smart as. So, yeah. um, they're definitely acid. Yeah. And black dragons are just bitter, both in acid and personality, says Bram. Right. Dra- black dragons hate everyone, they're the emo kids of dragon kind. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, in which case, a cold emo. Um, um, uh, Ronan would like to know uh, if you can tell a story involving a dragon in any of your campaigns. Uh, yeah, actually. So I included a dragon fairly recently, I would say, in my big museum uh, encounter. Oh, yeah. uh, so I had a coven of hags uh, occupying a museum, because I love Dishonored 2. Well, I love Dishonored 1 as well, but I particularly love Dishonored 2. Um, and I, um, I had, like... Uh, 
ancient bones of a long dead dragon in this museum and um, they use their magic to reanimate it but rather than making it just like a, a pure like kind of dracolich type creature they um, use sort of like vines and, uh, and other sort of like fey based things to reanimate this dragon so it wasn't like at its full strength um, and uh, because my players were still very early level um, and that was really fun it was really fun to have a kind of like necrotic um, insect breathing it had like all this kind of insect breath I seem to remember um, like all these uh, millipedes and things like that would just come uh, sprouting out of its mouth when it was trying to use its breath weapon um, and God, how did you guys defeat that? Because you like you talked your way out of it. I remember, if I remember correctly, do you I've remember? Got such a terrible memory, you know. That that's... <laughs> uh, I I think you talked your way out of it. I think you promised to. to... I don't think my character was having any of it. I think he just tried to walk straight past. Yeah, I seem to recall that too. Um, <laughs> it was very close to death. It's like, no, it's okay. Just, I'm just going to no, walk straight past it. Bye. Yeah, no, so, thank you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, okay, uh, what kind of chemicals is it showing, basically? Yeah, so I, I think some people mentioned the idea that it could be a fire extinguisher mm -hmm. or it could have different chemicals that would make it more effective against certain types of dragons. Yeah. So, so the different chemicals uh, so do slightly different things. Is saying probably multiple types of chemicals, a foam, mm -hmm. anti flame agent, a yeah. glue, maybe something non Newtonian that can act as an impact absorber. Ooh. Uh, dry ice breath attack would be. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Leo's favourite dragon is also small. Nice, so excellent. You're in good company. Um, some of that stuff would be hard to draw, draw though, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's see, one of my favourite movies, Dragons Besides Smog, is. King Ghidorah from the Godzilla movies? Yeah, I think I recognise Ghidorah. Um, is it going to shoot goo bombs or just goo like out of a hose? That's a good point. Good question. Oh no, sorry. Dra uh, grey dragons could have a dry ice. Oh right, yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah. It needs to have something that would kind of like sting the eyes, doesn't it? Yeah. Dry ice can be so brutal, so mm. it does have that impact mm -hmm. uh, what am I doing what am I doing I what are you doing I don't know um, I've <laughs> picked a colour palette so distracted yeah I got very distracted um, it's looking good it's looking thank really you cool. I appreciate that I definitely could call to add the dragon head feature yeah uh, I think it would have been a tiny bit dull otherwise like fun to use but you want it to look fun as well grey dragons are their own breed of dragon uh, they're one of the strongest dragon kind, having huge muscles that also make them uh, prey flyers. Hmm. Uh, they hunt dangerous prey, natural predators, or humanoids. Oh, there you go. Oh, a resin of some sort to bind the dragon down Ooh. is absolutely necessary. That's yes, cool. definitely. I think the whole concept of this was originally a glue gun. Yeah. Uh, so we need to have that in spades. Elemental foam bombs are still a good option. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Definitely good call. Oh, maybe it puts them in amber that hardens them super fast. Ooh, I like that a lot. Very good call. Well, that seems to have fixed now, so. Look, yeah. Their heads look cropped up in the cushion. Oh, bless. <laughs> you did you troubleshoot the metal? Yeah, I need to remember that, actually. Just need to uh, manhandle her a bit to get oh, it to stop. Bless her. It's Instead not... of a dog cone, um, we have like a giant uh, <laughs> donut, like a Homer Simpson style donut yeah. to put around her head um, to stop her rubbing her ears when they're sore. Um, so she, even though she's probably not very happy about it, she looks utterly adorable. She does look very, very cute. Also, the fact that she's grumpy about it makes it just more cute. So mm -hmm. it's. Um... Seeing a giant donut with a <laughs> Frenchie's head in the middle of one act is. <laughs> yeah. I do love that girl. Uh, maybe you could shoot slimes. Um, the monster. Oh yeah. Oh. 
exponentially expanding foam balls like the incredible oh um, yeah or even some scary super acid slash napalm Woofed. i think i've seen napalm suggested previously as well yeah do we want to be firing napalm at something that breathes fire yeah. i mean not they're not all going to breathe fire yeah, obviously fire. but like mm. i'm concerned there's someone else also suggested like a chemical that makes the breath weapon go crazy which in some senses i like mm. In other senses, I'm very nervous of, like, are you the wizard in the party who casts fireball when people are already in the room? Yeah, mutually assured destruction. Yeah, but... yeah don't don't be <laughs> burning everyone to death. I mean, I think the glue is a pretty universal one. Yeah, glue's a really good idea. Glue or resin. Yeah, for sure. I really like that idea. Oh, the amber one just has, like, such a nice visual to it. Yeah. Maybe the glue could be, like, amber-based, or maybe it could be, like, a magical glue that includes amber in its um, makeup, basically. So kind of like um, almost like a, an imprisonment spell, like a miniature imprisonment spell, um, which my character actually befell in our, uh, in the little game that I was playing the other day with Artisan Binks. Oh, did anybody catch this? Uh, yeah, good question. Did anyone end up watching the live stream where I was doing a bit of actual play? Because that was very fun. I enjoyed it a lot, uh, for sure. That was a really lovely experience. You got to let your inner obnoxious... <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, posh boy character out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was definitely it was a character. the anti-Josh that you were playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, despite what my accent would have you believe. Uh, ice dragon uh, should have napalm, fire dragon should have foam. Yes. Uh, party members in fireball range laughs in the evocation wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, how did they get through a full casting of imprisonment? To read. I don't know. Uh, that's like a mini imprisonment is kind of more what I was thinking, but who knows? Maybe there's got to be. Uh, oh, are you talking about in the the campaign thing that I was playing? Or I you... think so. Oh, right, yeah. No, it was just a. I'm not going to be there for the next session, so we had like a mini imprisonment where I was turned into a little gemstone. Mm. Um, but I think the whole plot of well, one of the subplots of the one shot or several shot is that there are a few characters who have been imprisoned in a similar fashion, um, and we have the means to kind of fix them, but none of us are smart enough or capable enough to get them out of that right now. So we're going to kind of figure it out, basically. And um, Bran caught the live stream, so it was oh, great. Thank you very much. I'm glad you were there. Uh, yes, Laval says, Imagine an adventuring party stumbling upon a whole dragon and takes the number. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Sort of Jurassic Park. Like dragons are extinct. Oh yeah. <laughs> they find one in amber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, a recipe for disaster, isn't it? He says the weapon looks like it was made by an artificer. Yes, definitely. This is a hundred percent an artificer's weapon. Um, let's get that on the go because I missed a few of these teeth. I realise. There we go, and then I would like to put in some little soft furnishings, I guess. Um, what do we want to call that? Um, uh, leathery bits. We just like that Gravity Falls episode. I don't know if you've watched Gravity Falls. Uh, no, I've still not, unfortunately. Um, I think I mentioned last live stream that I'm eager to, but I have not yet actually watched Gravity Falls. I love the idea of it, though. And I've seen a lot of clips of it, but I don't know. Apparently they have an episode where all the dragons were in amber. Oh! Is that where, think, sorry, was that where the idea of this came from, or was it? I think that's what we mean. Oh, right, okay. That's there cool. are amber dragons in d d by the way, so it's a uh, ring. Nice. Uh, how do you think a dragon's Christmas carol would go, says Yorick? How do I think a dragon's Christmas carol would go? I don't know. Put me out of my misery. What does it? What does it sound like? I think maybe like a Christmas carol of like the Dickens. Oh, oh right. I know. I thought you were gonna start singing. Is there? Oh, a... Well, I mean, no Christmas carols capitalized. Okay. Um, yeah. 
like the, the dragons of Christmas past, <laughs> yeah. future. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, you need um, a, a screwdriver. The right very there. thought of our barbarian charging a red dragon with this oversized blue gun is terrifying. Yes, definitely. Um, At some point, they're going to have to pull the trigger. It's like, do you trust that? Uh, um, how can the uh, breath weapon of the dragon going crazy possibly hurt it? They're immune to their own breath weapon, except dragons from fizz bands, they're only re resistant. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I was thinking. Um, do we, like, because there's someone who suggested that, is there a way that taking the, um, uh, the potion that makes their breath weapon go crazy, how would that hurt them? I'm eager to hear your idea, whoever suggested it. Uh, talking about bugs as a breath weapon, oh, sorry, jumped up there, mm -hmm. uh, got me thinking what kind of parasite might a dragon have and how brutal would it be on a humanoid, like Ooh. ticks or tapeworms specifically adapted to dragons. Yeah. Mm. Very cool. I think there probably is some kind of dragon parasite. I seem to remember someone mentioning something along mm. those lines. Be very cool. Be very cool to know. I mean, my favorite parasite is always that one that replaces the fish's tongue. I love that you um, have a favorite parasite. But I mean, <laughs> like, don't you have your top ten favorite parasites? Oh, of course, obviously. <laughs> uh, it's a close contention with the human bot, right? Oh God, um, no! But it would be quite cool if the dragon's tongue was another creature that could. Um, fire different kind of oh yeah, oh, that's that interesting. The source of the, the breath or something. That's interesting. That um, seems like a very mind flare weapon uh, to me. Some sort of aberration that grafts itself onto a dragon's tongue. Okay, Steve says maybe, mm -hmm. right? Maybe the gun contains a tiny pinprick-sized portal to the elemental planes. Ooh. So what you can do is calibrate it, and when you're ready, you pull the trigger, and the portals eject a mixture of rare metals water, alkalis, and air along the barrel to create foams or glues or whatever. You have to Ooh. prime it by dialing the mixture you want into the mad controls on it. Interesting. So I like the idea of that. I do like it being like a single type of creature's damage at a time, for sure, as well. Like, I, I don't think it should be something that's like, it helps against all dragons. It's like, no, you have to know enough about the dragon that you're fighting mm. for yeah. this to be super useful right now. Cav's got a good answer for the um, would the dragon's breath hurt it? Yeah. Itself? Um, he says we're technically immune to our own stomach acid but mm. you get much of it in the wrong places it can hurt you. Ah, right. Very good call. Um, Reed says I read a story where a man nearly died fighting a dragon's intestinal parasites after it passed overhead the day before and left a mess. Oh, <laughs> that's grim and brilliant. Yes. Oh, uh, Bolt has joined us with Snap. Oh, nice. Hello. Hi, yeah. Nap. Yeah. I was having uh, my Patreon one-on-one -on -one with Nap this, uh, today. We were actually doing some magic item drawing, making the most player bait, um, like, clearly cursed, horribly evil sword <laughs> you can imagine. Awesome. Um, you're to say, imagine they have to take a deep breath before performing the breath attack. Mm. So if they took the potion, then they can breathe and suffocate. That's oh, a really good idea. That's a really it. good idea, yeah. Some dragons would probably see humans as parasites. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Not uh, if they eat them then, hopefully. Fizzban has dragon egg parasites, apparently. Ooh. Oh, actually, yeah, I think that, that does ring a bell. Uh, dragon tongue isopods and dragon bot flies, calves on the same page as me. No, all of you go home. <laughs> no bot flies in my dear. <laughs> That is too cruel to exist in the real world, let alone in D&D. <laughs> um, Steve says, yeah, I don't think this is a thing that just hurts all dragons. It's yeah. a specialist a bit of kit, for that matter. It requires a dragon nearby to work, maybe. Ooh. Sympathetic magic and what have you. That's interesting. Yeah, um, I've not thought of that. Kutoa says... Uh, this screen to say hello to my little grand. Oh yeah, definitely. I want this. I do want this to have like uses outside of fighting dragons, but um, I do love the idea that I mean, maybe it gets can, stronger around a dragon or something. Yeah, if we can take down a dragon, it can yeah. help with a lot of things. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the glue gun would be pretty grim and war crime if it just if it used it's just strong. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, if something makes a dragon's worth of like glue. Uh, you're gonna be 
Yeah, it's going to have a, a really yeah. huge Yeah, oh, also those glue traps for mice is oh, just God, yeah. so cruel. That's absolutely don't barbaric. don't understand that. At least a regular trap would be quick, hopefully. Yeah, you'd, you'd hope. Um, right. Uh, Steve continues, uh, otherwise this thing just totals anything that can fly, rock, harpies, etc. This is specialist gear. That's yeah, the point. definitely. Oh, maybe a draconic fungus, like the fungus that affects Ooh. ants. Oh, yeah. Ah, so, it, like, mind controls them or something. <laughs> uh, Bram says, loads oversized glue gun with malicious intent. I'm old <laughs> accent. Stick around. <laughs> I'm not doing the accent. Are you sure? Can you do it? Can you just uh, stick around as I, an Arnold? I'm not sure I could. I can do the, the classic, like, get to the job. Uh, I'm not sure I could do, stick get, around. Get the glue gun. Get the glue gun. It <laughs> doesn't quite work. <laughs> Just sounds like someone, someone with a balloon in their throat. Yeah. Oh, Steve says I retract my statement. Oh. Goodness. <laughs> Uh, maybe like in Lord of the Rings, the front of the weapons can go when they're near a dragon. That's cool. Oh, that's a nice idea. Uh, maybe no, I think I think you'd know, wouldn't you? Like the whole point of this thing is like <gasps> gives you advance warning of like dragons of uh, orcs coming nearby. But I feel like you'd probably know if there was a dragon nearby, like the swoop overhead, the whole Misty Mountain song. You know. <laughs> uh, maybe the dragon itself is touched by the horse, and then if it's if pestilence stricken with dragon rat per, per, ugh, parasites and diseases yeah. leaving squirming masses with worms and isopods and bot flies Woo! yeah that's very <laughs> grim I like it though nice Josh idea Josh can't deal with bot flies yeah no thank you yeah it's too <laughs> grim too rich for my blood uh, maybe the weapon only gains charges in the vicinity of a dragon oh that's an interesting idea head. When it's hit by a dragon's breath. That's very weapon. cool. Yeah, I like that. Um, maybe Jubilix could have blessed this weapon, a sign of the ascendancy of slime over all creatures <laughs> of the air, and a nephew to Pazuzu? Uh, pa yeah, Pazuzu is another demon. Uh, oh, God, what's the name? They have another name that, they, that they're they better known as. Um, but yeah, either way, uh, Pazuzu, yes. Oh, uh, Steve explained that statement. Oh, really? Um, you, you were saying about how this works against other things, that's why I retracted it. Yeah, so uh, it's a delay. Yeah. Sometimes we're like, what? <laughs> yeah, it takes us a little while. All hail the rock, father, says Captain Dutchman. I'm guessing that's in relation to... Oh, no, the rock father is Pazuzu. Um, so he's um, like a, a god of decay and uh, slimy, horrible, disgusting stuff. Mm. I believe. Nice yeah, those nasty boys. My Arnold impression sounds like a Welsh Kermit the Frog, <laughs> so no shade from me for that effort, God. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good Arnold impression, actually. <laughs> Get to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a Welsh Kermit. Can you do Welsh Kermit? No, I can do Welsh or Kermit. Okay. Um, <laughs> But <laughs> that's too many things. My brain can't handle that many things at once. It's just a small, feeble thing. Okay. Um, maybe if the weapon is hit with the element it's tuned to, mm -hmm. or the opposite of the item that they're tuned to, mm -hmm. uh, they get a power boost, like extra damage. Oh, that's a cool idea. I like that a lot. Okay. I think you're going to get some um, impressions. Uh, nice. uh, loads of Lee Wild in an Ash Williams impression. Swallow this. Is that is that Ash Williams from, from the Evil Dead? Dead? Yeah. No, only he can do his voice. That's that's. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was oh man, Ash Williams. Uh, there's the most awful prank ever was an Ash Williams related thing, in like one of the original Spider-Man games. Right. Uh -huh. It was one of the first huge open world games where they mapped the entirety of New York for you to to swing around. It's really uh -huh. fun. But they had like this collection quest where you could collect all these hints and things. And they were like boring hints that you ended up figuring out. But they kept you going by saying that if you collected every single hint, and there were like 500 of them across New York hidden away, that if you collect them all, they'd all say something different. 
right? Mm -hmm. So you want to know what something different is. Turns out it was just Ash Williams saying the words something something different. Weeks I spent on that. Weeks. Has anyone watched the Evil Dead TV show? Was it the Ash of the Dead or something? Yeah, yeah. How is that? I really want. Yeah, I want. I kind of want to say it. I kind of want to. Also, like, yeah. Don't know if I'm committed enough to that. Uh, right. Uh, Cav says allows for it to be damaged or negated by elements that it currently isn't that currently isn't dealt with, mm. like adjacent ones. We've got to keep it safe since it's a specialist tool. Yeah. Uh, Reed says, is this a horde item from Fizban? It could backfire and explode oh. like in a funny or terrible magical mishap. Yes. A horde item such a great idea for this. Can you explain? Uh, so a horde item is something that I'm just going to totally do in future. I, oh. I love this idea. So the idea is that if you find um, an item, oh dear, I've, I can see the paint bucket loading, which means I've hit the wrong thing. Um, if you um, get an item, a magic item from a dragon's horde, or if the dragon gives you an item, a bit like a warlock, the item is charged or imbued in some way with the dragon's energy right Mm -hmm. so the more that the dragon hoards the more powerful that item that's like infused with their essence becomes Uh. so uh and it's like fun because you could like leave a sword in there and gradually it would become more dragon like maybe we get like scales on the hilt you know become like alligator leather rather than just you know cow leather or something you know that kind of thing little bits here and there visually um but yeah, what a neat idea. So it gets, you're incentivized to either wait until a dragon gets really powerful mm-hmm. or to help the dragon's power grow yeah. so that you can get a better mag- magic item, which is quite fun. That's cool. um, they've also put some interesting stuff in Fizzbands about if you kill a dragon, a bit like Skyrim now, you get a bit of the dragon's soul. So because they have this kind of corrupting influence on the area around them, you get some magical abilities and features if you kill a dragon. Mm-hmm. So, like, that might be things like, oh, you get scales, gross, but it might be things like, oh, once a day you can breathe fire, or you become, like, you can become temporarily immune to some damage. Like, I don't know, I can't remember exactly what it was, mm-hmm. but things of that nature, which is pretty fun. Very impressed. I liked all that stuff, actually, I have to say. Yeah, okay, people are liking that. Yeah. Or dice them. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely good call. Cool. Oh, I haven't saved in absolutely ages. Um, Hope you're using your shortcuts. I saw that a little edit I'm doing. I know very few shortcuts, but I do know at least the edit undo one. Mm-hmm. So I need to remember to do that. Uh, Reese is asking, what are your thoughts or ideas on a kobold dragon? Mm -hmm. I think they are a combination of chromatic, metallic and gem dragons, though Mm. not completely overpowered. Interesting. I've not heard of them before. Is this like something that you're homebrewing yourself? Or is it something from previous editions? Because I don't recognise the the name, but um, yeah, I like the sound of it very much. Uh, anything that adds more dragons to the game is always going to be fun, really, isn't it? Um, but yeah, Cobalt Dragon. I feel like... I know. It's the point of a Cobalt that it is weak and it has to use other interesting strategies to get around that weakness. It has to use its cunning and things. I don't know. I don't know. So as long as it doesn't defeat the purpose of a Cobalt, then I'm down for it, you know? Uh, York says, holding a glue gun while doing a Duke Nukem impression. I'm here to pick drakes and chew Linarms. Uh, yes. Linarms. Yes. I love it. <laughs> Is that where kick ass and take names thing come from? I don't know if it's. Uh, no, that's from. Um, there's a really famous sci fi film that you, you will know, even though we've not seen it, but one where someone gets like a set of uh, spectacles and they can see like the truth that advertising is actually like some alien plot of some kind Uh Um, and it's like there's some wrestler guy who coined that phrase um, who is the actor in it 
and then obviously Moss made it a thousand times better. Ah, uh, Moss, yeah, 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 that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do a Moss impression? I, I, I'm a living, breathing Moss impression. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are. I'm married to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cass says, I had a whole subplot, bleh, subplot. <laughs> is for some games that were loosely like the dragon horde feature here mm. although it was five dragons on a council the players had to convince them to invest in their endeavors inspired by the show dragons i was gonna say are we going dragons then with this my goodness you can have an inspiration point for that steve says i'm gonna do that in my game when they meet this dragon uh, i've got plans for them much later on if they kill her they get a significant buff and they'll find out about it in gradual increments mm -hmm. But do they get 25% equity in your business? <laughs> uh, Plasters had to do Draganda to meet the council, though. Was Draganda. Draganda. I don't know. I'm trying to think what that. I watch enough Dragon Fizz. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the business world is so beyond me. <laughs> if you hadn't guessed. They live? Is that the oh they live yes yes thank you thank you for that yes that's the the one where the where the quote is from ah right yeah yeah, yeah. i think i know what one you're talking yeah. about yeah it has uh, that you definitely will have seen the like mask that you can buy that's like the it's like um a blue kind of zombie skull with all these pink muscles and things around the face that's like the the oppressive alien creatures that oh are... Oh, God, yeah. Yeah? I didn't know that was what that was. Yeah, I, I had the same experience, I think maybe like a couple of years ago, um, or maybe even this year, I don't I don't remember, but it was like awesome. one of those moments, it's like, um, oh, no way, I can't believe so many, so many references, so many, basically, let's be honest, Simpsons references are now starting to make sense. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh, Dragon in Canada, Dragon. Ah, I see. Oh, I see. Uh, guys, you're too slow. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a fan of a portmanteau, so bravo to you. Oh, and Plasters as players as well. Greg will just yeah. anchor man it, I just read it exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly as it comes out, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm always just like, is that some sort of gaming term? I don't know, I'm just going to read it. <laughs> uh, what were we thinking as benefits unlocked, unlocked by the Horde items? Yeah, so, I mean, maybe that's um, different dragon types. Um, maybe it's, I don't know. Open to suggestions. Yeah, I want to I wanna hear that, because they do scale. I, I do like a magic item that scales. Um, uh, again, because we're doing with dragons, but um, I, I like... <laughs> Christmas puns, not just... not just dragon puns. I'm sorry, I'm being lazy. Um, I I do like um, magic items at scale because I don't know about you, uh, fellow DMs, but when you give players like a magic sword, unless it's something that they've come up with with their initial character concept, I find players like to keep a lot of the original stuff that they had. Like especially if it's like armor, no one's wearing armor that makes them look different from how they designed, um, unless it's. I don't know, real fancy, you know? So I'd be intrigued to have more things that fit an existing character, level up with them, basically. And I know, um, uh, what's his name? Matthew Mercer does a very similar sort of thing, doesn't he? So with his magic items, tend to scale with players. Oh, uh, nice. Nat says maybe some sort of gravity field or gravity bomb to stop dragons from flying. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good way to ground them. Yeah. Uh, Cameron continues, uh, there was also a perpetual... Oh, hang on, I jumped up. Mm -hmm. There was also a perpetual line of kobolds working their way into the council chambers, each convinced that, that their idea of ghosting the praise of our dragon lords and other lands was the greatest investment. Oh. Bless them. <laughs> uh, mostly they made good dragon snacks between adventuring parties. As you do. Um, Steve says... I mean, I said replying to your. Mm -hmm. How many? Oh, yeah. I think your. Oh, I'm getting confused. I think a message has been taken out. 
Um, oh, Moon Ring's uh, tipped you. Oh, thank, thank you very, very much, much, Moon Ring. That's very kind of you. Could you do a video on the Beholder Eater, aka Sag, Sagar the Tinkerer, giant bubble from Spelljammer Lost Ship? Sounds very good. Anything Spelljammer related, you know I'm game for. So, absolutely. Why not? Let's go for it. Mm. Uh, Reed says, are you, you're able to spray a weapon that has a damaged type of breath. Hang on, let me do that again. You're able to spray a weapon that has the damage type of the breath weapon of the dragon whose horde you speak the weapon in. Yes, that, that makes sense. Sorry, so you can infuse it with a particular dragon's yes. breath weapon yes. to defeat a different dragon, basically. Yeah? Oh, right. So Dirty Harry, Dragon Hunter, pointing to it on it. Dying Dread Dragon, do you feel lucky? Do you feel bald? <laughs> Love Did, it. Can you do that? Uh, uh, Dirty Harry. No, you know what? I, I'm not sure I could do Dirty Harry. Also, what you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of Jim Carrey's Dirty Harry, which is just like he contorts his entire face to look like Clint Eastwood. And I've never seen yeah. like one of those impressions where someone can just become someone else. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I've never that. seen Dirty Harry, but I know the impression. Yeah, of exactly. Um, I'm better with accents than I am with like doing impressions of people, uh, for sure. Uh, are you like magic items that level up with the player? I'm a big fan of that sort of thing, says Steve. Yeah. Uh, Bram says, never really had that armor problem. I just let them go to a talented blacksmith and have the armor refitted to their liking. That's a nice idea, yeah. That's cool. And it lets you introduce another NPC as well, doesn't it? Which is always fun. Uh, Rhys Strong says, uh, says uh, look, they, I'm getting these more tongue It's okay, don't worry, take a breath. That, I've been up since four o'clock. Oh. Um, they were a thing that I discovered on a YouTube video that describes rare dragons across the realm, such as cobalt dragons, dry dragons, and cobra dragons, Ooh, very fun. Um, Bram says, I feel like this weapon should uh, have some comically large, colourful buttons for each dragon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. you need to have some sort of dial or yes. like, change, change. Switch. Yes, I'll definitely make sure that there's some. That's what the kind of main body bit, because that, that's right. definitely lacking some stuff. I don't know quite what I need to put on there, but it's it's mm. lacking some bits. So maybe some buttons and all that kind of stuff seems seems very fitting. Um, yeah. Uh, Steve says, I just want to say that I love that this is an armrest. It's <laughs> on a crutch or. Yeah, of course. It's it's heavy. You know, you need like a fulcrum basically. Absolutely awesome bit of detail. Thank you very much. Uh, it makes it look heavy and cumbersome as it should. Mm -hmm. uh, Captain Dutchman says, uh, one sort of dragon type that I like are moon dragons, the Ooh. Warhammer fantasy ones, Ooh. that are the noble seed of the high elves. That Ooh, sounds lovely. like up your street. It definitely does. Um, and I think we have some space-based dragons coming up um, later on in Dragon December. But I do love anything elf related and anything dragon related. It always makes me very happy. Um, I wonder if the reason Santa isn't officially in D and D is because the dragons would constantly chase him in the air. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I did actually one year I did do Santa as a frost giant um, called Father Christmas because we call oh, Santa Father okay. Christmas in in uh, yeah. in the UK. So you know that would that would add to that because dragons and and giants historically hate each other. So yeah, I, I like that. Levers and dials and little wind up flywheels is cab. <coughs> it definitely needs to look complicated. Yes. Oh, you put the padded lining in the. Oh yeah. Armrest. I just noticed that. Yeah, it's nice and squishy. This is like the deluxe version. Mm. Have we got a name for this? I know, I don't think we've got a name for this. Maybe that's where a Christmas pun could come into this, I don't know. Yeah, let's um, see. Get your pun hats on. Yeah. Work for those imaginary D&D &D points. <laughs> Inspiration points. Yes. Uh, Steve 
says, I have decided this now needs to be program- programmed like one of those old Simon Says toys from the 80s. That's my head canon now and nobody can change it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, D&D Santa definitely has a pet red dragon called Rudolph. Yes. A tamed one. Nice friendly boy. Yes, Lavelle, well, what's the sound bite of you saying, oh yeah, it's nice and squishy? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gutter. <laughs> the anti dragon bop it. <laughs> Did you ever have a bop it? Uh, no, but I, you know what? I, I used to follow the guy on TikTok who invented bop it. Oh. Um, um, there was way more bop it than I remember there being. Mm. Have you ever run a Spelljammer campaign, by the way? I've never actually run one, but I love the setting. I've watched lots of videos about, like, the lore and the world, and, like, it just seems crazy and very creative, and I would really love to. Um, But the urge to just basically completely redo um, Treasure Planet is so high. Um, I don't know how anyone resists uh, with Spelljammer. That and Dark Sun comes up a lot in my feed in terms of things that I would really enjoy running. Uh, York suggests the Drake Jammer. Mm. Uh, he says Dragon Marker. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Reed says there was a book uh, who, has a, who had as a plot. Um, a nation of dragons that demanded authority over all airspace mm. and would destroy any unauthorised flight above a certain altitude. Interesting. That's a cool concept. Right. No, it's not. Yeah. Some detailing. Thank you. Yeah, or he's, um, liquid, uh, liquefied tool, he could maybe, that would be a little bit tricky. Mm. Also, those two things will slow the computer down. Right, yeah, let's not, let's not worry about it for now. Uh, you just move it down below uh, those two little dots. Yeah, I'll, I'll just kind of, it's close enough. It's a live stream, you know, it doesn't need to be perfect. Let's just do that for now. He was this very grew up we called Santa Old Man Christmas. Old Man Christmas, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, we just go with, I guess, Father Christmas, Santa. We don't really go with, I think you were asking earlier if it, we called him St. Nicholas. But we mm. Tend to really, yeah. Um, um, since this is a cannon looking weapon, mm-hmm. that, it, could, it could launch a big gravity bomb like Zarya's cannon. Oh, bomb yeah, launch. that sounds like a really fun idea. I like that a lot. Yes, please. something that would kind of maybe maybe it would uh, if it's a gravity bomb maybe it could like absorb or redirect um, a dragon's breath weapon maybe give people advantage on saves against that weapon or something like that Um, 
contrast. Oh. My computer's starting to slow down a tiny bit now. Mm -hmm. chemical containers. Mm. Okay. Um, I definitely feel like that needs a little bit of shading as well actually, so why don't I put that up here. Oh, Aldrin's here. Oh, hello Aldrin. You missed Merkel snoring, like the absolute worst snoring she's on <laughs> on the live stream, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I joined just the right time. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone, good. Thanks for joining. We are making an anti-dragon thing. We didn't decide on a name, did we? No, I don't believe so. Um, yeah. Oh, hang on. Uh, my work needs to be... Uh, Shelly needs to go as a thing, and then line work needs to go. There we go. Right. Um, so you says, hey you dragon, down here, do you mean naughtier nights, violent glue gun into the earth was abandoned? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Shading, not too much. Don't want to just distract from the texture. Um, I might need to put some details on this chamber up here, but I don't know if it's going to look better if it's kind of bear or not. It's a tough call. Um, I might put a bit just in the barrel here actually as well. Uh, yeah. Tiny bit of shading. She does, definitely. Um, uh, I just listened to the McElroy podcast till death do us blast, so the only name for a glue gun I can think of is Big Sticky Mess. Oft. <laughs> oh, God bless the McElroys. Uh, ho, 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 now I have a glue cannon too. Glue, <laughs> glue cannon's pretty good. Yes, good. that is good. Um, <laughs> right, let's get some... Yeah, these guys, let's do... Crit Master 5000. Crit Master 5000, absolutely. Um, potions. That's what I'm thinking of. I couldn't Ooh. think of the word potions. My brain's obviously not working very well today. Mm. Um, sorry if I seem a bit more sluggish than usual. I have absolutely no excuse. Um, but I'm just there, you know. It's cosy in here. We've got the, got the heating on. Uh, and I feel nice and it's a nice kind of just squish evening really, isn't it? Mm. Yep. Well, there's supposed to be a storm heading our way, so we might be up a completely different scene in the morning. Oh goodness, yeah. Potion bottles. Oh, 
No, man, so. He's having a lot for Odin. Yeah. It's a little drama llama. She's back by Riverbed now. Back there. She's a sweet old creature. Do you see the light go, like flash there for a Yeah, it was me taking a photo of Martha. Oh, you? right. Let's share that in the Discord. Yeah, I'll put it in the Discord. Oh, bless. Poor pal. person carrying this weapon is just the heavy from Team Fortress 2. Yes, definitely. You need a big, beefy person. This is definitely the weapon that you give to the half walk of the party. Um, for sure. Uh, oh, uh, Gabriel's asking, how was school for you, Josh? Were you a good, bad, or here and there student? Um, kind of mix. I was... An incredibly anxious person, but also uh, very uh, easily distracted. So, I know, I was like, I was a, a big nerd. I wasn't a particularly social person, so I spent a lot of time in the library drawing. Um, it was alright though, like I, I enjoyed certain subjects, anything that I didn't have any like immediate interest in though subject wise was completely discarded um so <laughs> like ADHD, yeah absolutely um i don't know it was you were glad to go there though. yeah it definitely i um i don't think the education system the way that it currently works works very well for me not to say that it's bad in general but you know it doesn't suit or accommodate the way that I think particularly well. My grades were good, but I couldn't have got out of there any quicker than I did, basically, <laughs> you know? And I don't, I'm not in any rush to go back for any reason. But I hope you're having a good time with education if that is something that you're doing. Uh, could you load this thing with other projectiles as well? That's um, I think if you run out of chemicals, you should maybe be able to put like junk and rubbish and other like equally sized things, and then maybe instead of doing what it's supposed to do, you could just roll on the magic surge table or something like that. Or like we could make like a little magic dragon surge table if you put random items in here. What do you think? You mean you ask from the audience rather than me, right? Well, yeah, I'm asking the audience, but also <laughs> you, if you have something that you'd uh, that you'd like to see. No, it was just that pause, and I was like, should I? <laughs> yeah, you can answer. Yeah. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, pal. Yeah, thank you for the stickers, um, spamming Alden. Oh. I was wondering if it was all one person or not. I can't actually see the chat yet. Hang on, let me go back to that. that oh, sorry, that's in the... Um, oh, right, yes. Discord. I posted oh. a picture of Merkel. Oh, that's cute. Looking particularly dorky. She's adorable. Uh, what would a malfunction look like? Disastrous, I'm imagining? Yes. Maybe it just, like, it now sprays a chemical that attracts additional dragons. <laughs> Uh, it's like just makes pheromones that dragons are super interested in, um, or something like that. I'm wondering, how do you think the skunk and Lawrence Murphy? 
Murph from last time. Oh, Hello, Murph. Big Murph. Yeah. <laughs> it could definitely launch Big Murph. The question is, could you live with yourself if you launched Big Murph? Oh. <laughs> to which the answer is, I'm, I'm sure, yes. <laughs> well, if you can launch other stuff, uh, Cav said, it might be a good reason for the players to pick up extra stuff like... Uh, thieves tools or cutlery. Oh yeah, good idea. Like a good improvised weapon. I love the idea of like trash weapons. I think they're really fun, and in particular, I really loved. Um, I can't with the. So Yvonne once played a character who was like a kleptomaniac for money, but couldn't bring themselves to spend any of that money. Right. So I made a cudgel that was actually it was like um. God, what was it? It was like a... Um, oh, it had a pun name. It's me. So you know it had like a funny kind of pun name, right? Or maybe not funny, depending on who you are. Um, and what you think of puns. But um, it, it was basically the more gold she had, the more damage the cudgel did, because it was actually like a purse of coin holding, basically. So any amount of money could go into it. The more money you put in there, the more gold value, the higher the dice value. But... If you spent money, obviously, it would go down. So it was all about, like, is it worth it to buy better weapons? Or do you have, like, this quite crap weapon that deals a lot of damage? It's kind of up to you. That was fun. But I like things like... Um, oh, God, there's a character in Overwatch who has a... Um, uh, a gun that they filled with just garbage and uh, and nails and things like that. It's like a like a nail bomb launching thing that just makes mess and trash. And I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite weapons in pretty much any game. Very fun. Roadhog is the character's name. Um, yeah. Which is pretty much Myrtle. Yeah. Doesn't look comfortable, Carl. No, it does not sound it. Mm. I'm going to put some magical kind of like sigils on the body of this thing just to kind of give it a bit more uh, detail. And then I think I'm pretty much done with this. Mm. Um, um, Something. Thank you very much. I need something that indicates that, like, this is where magic goes. Because <laughs> you know? I don't know enough about guns or enough about potions to, like, have a mechanical system whereby this all works. So I'm going to do some magical runes and stuff on here. That is just, like, the magic goes in the big chamber and then it goes boom. And then we don't need to think about it, you know? <laughs> like, what, can... a dial or something? Oh yeah, dial. We were going to put dials and things on here, weren't we? Okay, yeah. All right. Okay, I'll, I'll stick a little dial on after I've done a few little runes. Okay. So Reed's saying, if you made this gun, what's its history? So if anyone's got any suggestions, yeah, please, because I'm going to write out the stats of this thing ideally tomorrow, and uh, and put it online for you all. So I'd love to know more about what this thing does, and who made it and why. I mean, That's obviously it. for slaying dragons, I assume. No, sorry. Uh, Bram says, I love giving unused items a use. So I had the pneumatic hammer that drives pythons into your enemies for oh. damage and tying them down. That sounds great. We were talking about pythons or pythons yeah. earlier because mm. uh, Josh did an illustration of the adventurous pack. Mm -hmm. And I think there was some people were saying it that didn't necessarily translate so well. So it was like nice to see it. Yeah. Because I definitely didn't know what the hell a python was mm -hmm. um, when I first started playing. Yeah, uh, especially because, like, you know, the song was saying they're French as well, and, like, that causes, like, the word piton causes issues because there's multiple meanings, and, you know, it means something different in French. And also, like, if you live in, you know, St. Lucia or something like that, there's the mountains are called the pitons, and, you know, there's, like, very famous things. Pitons aren't just these one thing, so... There's all sorts of things like that that's just, um, it can be difficult to 
to translate into every person's language for sure. I'd be interested to know what kind of um, things there are for different languages in D&D when they get translated into the books because um, I know for example that um, in Spanish Eldritch Blast is Spooky Beam which I love so much but it would be interesting to see if there are other translations that just like get the energy of what um, what a certain spell or a term means but it actually means something technically different um, would be would be really interesting to know uh, so Steve's suggestion um, on the history of the item is a wizard did it oh, that's yeah. my go-to whenever I run into anything I don't know it for sure yeah, it yeah it makes sense to me makes sense yeah. Um, yeah. So that was just heading off. But oh. thank you very much for joining uh, joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. Uh, Reed says a cobalt artificer rebelling against its master. Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. I like that idea. Uh, Dwarven king asked a master craftsman to build a weapon to reclaim back the treasure that Ooh, reveals. Love that. Yeah. Love that for them. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's interesting. Bram says, I'm not going to lie, I've never seen a D&D book printed in anything but English. Oh, really? But I don't live in an Anglophone country. And I don't live in an Anglophone country. That's interesting. That's interesting. I would have thought it would be like, translated into like, tons yeah. of languages. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. Well, that's quite sad, actually. Yeah. That's really sad, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think they do um, do it, but maybe... Maybe, maybe just... not easy to come by, though. Yeah, that sucks. Hmm. Um, right, uh, let's do, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Um, I, you know what, actually I need to get here. Steve says in Chinese, um, he believes the movie Terminator was called the electronic murderer. Oh my God, right. <laughs> I mean, it's very literal. That's Imagine. Mm. It must be so hard to translate yeah, something definitely. like D&D in, into another language when there's so much kind of creative yeah, absolutely. languages. Yeah. Uh, are there any particularly famous dragon villains in your campaign, Josh, that could have been designed to fight? So I've only just actually included dragons in my campaign through a, a retcon. I used to have them all be dead, but now I really like dragons. I just kind of, I wanted to steer clear from dragons, but I really enjoy them. I don't know why I kind of kept them out to begin with, but I did and I regretted it. So I put them back in. So I'm still kind of figuring out the lore of dragons in my campaign world. Um, so no, <laughs> really frustratingly, no. Um, just to be really helpful. Uh, but that's a good idea. If anyone has like a really cool uh, dragon in their campaign that's like pivotal, uh, this could be the slaying of. Oh, I didn't know this. So, um... Moonring's asking when they translate blue dragon into Italian, do they use a light blue colour or dark blue colour? Because apparently they're different colours, they have different names in Italian. Oh, really? That's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm sure if there are any Italian people that can answer that. Oh, yeah, let's come up with a name, says Reed. Yes. What about you, Josh? Do you have any thoughts on names? Um, let's think. Big Dave. Big Dave. Just Big Dave. Um, Lots of consonants and dragon names. Yes. Well I always go for like, you know, uh, Vargathrax, the unknowing or something, you know, that, the, the unknowing, I suppose he's going to be unknowing after he's been hit with a few of these. But um, that kind of thing, like there's always some, they always have a title uh, to me. 
Um, Hmm. Anna Thought says uh, how do you decide on colour palettes I find that one of the toughest things to do for art yes so I'm really bad at it right Um, I I didn't learn colour theory I've been kind of like dabbling in my spare time learning colour theory Um, but what I do is I tend to go on Pinterest where I collect a lot of things and I will find colour palettes for certain images or movies um, where somebody has done the hard work and has like condensed a colour palette into a minimal colour palette and then if I really love the way that looks I will store it for later use um, and then when it comes to an illustration I can kind of picture what I want them to look like a bit uh, at least like in black and white I can kind of picture it and then I know that there's one colour in particular that I really want to use then I will find the colour palette that I've saved that has one of those colors in and then i'll use the other ones as the kind of complementary colors so that's pretty much what i'll do basically um but it works out pretty well i really like the way that looks for example um it's very kind of royal looking it looks very you know britain like um so i don't know yeah i mean if the the queen was going to fight dragons oh yeah maybe maybe something royal maybe um we have a couple of suggestions. Yeah. Kerr Tanner, uh, oh. Felice Navi Dragon, <laughs> Very the Street good. Martyr, oh. uh, Tertimnor, 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 uh, the Scales Combiner. Oh, the Scales Combiner, I like. Zale Squish. <laughs> Zale Squish. Zale Squish. Uh, nice, I like that a lot. Uh, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about. Uh, the de-dragonator <laughs> I'm thinking like royal what about rain from above r-e-i-g-n rain um, or uh, maybe it's like uh, mm. regicide or something like that um, dragon blaster <laughs> Dragon, Just I mean, it is, yeah, on. Dragon Blaster is, um, oh god, um, Drowning Liberation, Ungent yeah. Ejector, yeah, General U Snabber, <laughs> the Wyrm <laughs> Cannon, like maybe, Lugan. yeah, what about the Great Boomstick? The Great Boomstick works very well. I feel like that when I actually come up with stats for this, mm-hmm. there will be so many, like, also known as this, also known as this, also known as this, because I can never quite decide. All the names are always so good. The indignant and I, ends. Oh, that's a pretty silly way to go. Yes, yeah, I do like that. It's a very cool thing. I really like this actually. Um, I don't think I'm I'm gonna sully the rest of the stream by making additional magic items. I think that's great. I think it's got so many interesting uses based on what we all came with. Dragonfall's a really good one, Steve. Um, we've got it's got so many useful things here. It's got a grappling hook that's shaped like a dragon. It's got like fire extinguisher abilities. It's got a glue gun. It's got all sorts. You can put trash in there and launch. I mean, you could probably fit a gnome in there and launch it. Uh, someone you know uh, gnomes count as ammunition in my world at least now um oh, which reminds me sorry um min rings tipped you and oh. asks maybe dragons were made by gnomes chromatic <laughs> dragons made gnomes maybe <laughs> evil pure evil yes uh yeah <laughs> now they did um my goodness uh, well, if, if one type of dragon made kobolds, maybe gnomes are their their opposite. No, uh, I think he's saying um, that dragons were made by gnomes. Oh, dragons were made by... Dragon. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Oh, yeah, well, then they are pure evil. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, very good call. <laughs> Thank you very much. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. I hope you're enjoying Dragon December in general. Um and uh, I look forward to Monday, which is going to be uh, the video on Wivens, I believe. Wivens or Wyverns, however you like to pronounce it. I say Wiven personally. Um, and I hope that this weapon, once I stat it up and put it on Instagram and in the Discord, uh, will be useful for your dragon encounters. I'll make sure to put that on my website, on D&D Beyond if I can, uh, and other things like that. And I'll get cracking on that uh, ideally tomorrow. 
Where, and I'll watch this video and kind of go back and look at all your ideas to see what this thing can do. Um, thank you for your suggestions. Thank you for being here. And I hope you have a absolutely magical Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. I hope you had a fantastic Hanukkah if you celebrated Hanukkah. Um, and all the other myriad of festivals that go on this month. I uh, hope you have just a fantastic holiday. Um, I will see you for next Monday, another Monster Monday, and I'll see you for another stream on the middle of the month. Is it actually, uh, is it? So we have, um, is it actually the 22nd? Let me just check. So oh. I'm not talking out my butt. Oh, no, this is not the Christmas stream. <laughs> this, is the, this is the pre-Christmas stream, I thought. Okay. Uh, let me just check here because I need to check my own calendar. Instagram. We can make the next one uh, uh, very Christmassy as well because um, that's the next live stream is going to be a dragon creation stream because um, we've done something that will defeat dragons. Now we need to have the natural uh, method of of combating that by having some kind of dragon. So, uh, oh yay, it's <laughs> Dragon Creation Streams on the 22nd. Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought it was after Christmas, the next stream. I'm wrong. Um, my own plans. Um, but yes, so Dragon Creation Stream on the 22nd. Um, and uh, yeah, and next week is, is still going to be Wivens. I just checked that for sure. So that's Wivens on the 13th, um, Void Dragon on the 20th. Uh, Dragon Creation Stream on the 22nd and then ah, the only video after Christmas is Kirtle Mac, God of Kobolds so uh, you guys who are talking about Kobolds in the stream will, will get some, some love there but yeah thank you so much for joining us um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening and a wonderful holiday as well um, but I will see you before, before Christmas <laughs> see you later, bye bye